Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome to Waikiki. Today we're gonna to be giving you a full tour of our resort, the Hilton Hawaiian Village. But first, we're gonna to go to one of Kelly's favorite breakfast spots. Which is off the resort property, it is Duke's Waikiki. They have a great breakfast buffet. It's touristy, but the food's really good and the views can't be beat. All right, we made it to Duke's. I believe the buffet in the morning is from 7 to 11 a.m. and it's $23 a person. But still, it's not bad for being a buffet and the views are amazing. So this buffet serves scrambled eggs, eggs benedict, bacon, a bunch of different types of sausages, pastries, fruit, a little salad bar, some fried rice. Plus there's some omelets that you can order and they'll bring it to your table. So for 23 bucks, it's really not that bad. And Coffee's included. Unlimited coffee. Yeah. All right, we've walked back to our hotel. I think we've walked off a little bit of that buffet breakfast, hopefully. But we're back here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village and we're going to give you a tour of this massive Waikiki resort. Since everyone starts their stay here in the main lobby, that's where we figured we'd start our tour. So this is the main lobby area. It's pretty centrally located within the resort. As with a lot of places in Hawaii, it's all open air. There's a lot of space and there's an enormous counter that you can check in and check out at with a lot of people working at it. And this is also where you'll find like the concierge, where you can book tour packages, where you can book the Hilton Luau and all kinds of administrative stuff like that. So yesterday when we got here, since we couldn't check in right away, we decided to leave our luggage at the desk and come over to this kind of centrally located area where there's a ton of places to eat, coffee, some shopping you can do, so you can entertain yourself until it's time to check in. Let's go check it out. This area is called the Rainbow Bazaar and there's a lot of different dining options here that are different than your kind of overpriced resort restaurants. It's a little bit more of a food court style so you can get some cheaper options for dining. Also a lot of different souvenir stores. There is an ABC store here, which if you're not familiar with ABC stores, it's kind of like the Hawaiian convenience store where you can get snacks, food, things like that. It's a good place to buy alcohol that's a little cheaper as well. And the Waikiki Christmas store in case you want to get a Christmas ornament. Because who doesn't need a Waikiki Christmas ornament? I do. There's also an Enterprise Car Rental Agency on site which is really convenient. I don't know that I would recommend parking a rental car here if you rent it at the airport because the parking fee per night is more than $50 which can really add up quickly. Okay, this is the Kalia Tower. There are several different towers on property. A lot of the spaces are dedicated to the Hilton timeshares, which I believe is what this tower is, but this is where one of the Starbucks shops is if you want to get coffee. There are actually two Starbucks on property, plus other coffee options too. So in the Kalia Tower is where the main resort spa is, and there's also an adults-only pool up here, which I just discovered and I'm super excited about. <laughs> and it's a little more zen. It's up on the fourth floor. Um, that's why I'm not speaking very loudly. So this is a great area to come and chill, I think. There's also a fitness center up here if you want to exercise a little bit before you get your muscles massaged out, and a salon if you want to get your hair done. Honestly, this resort, you don't even have to leave it if you don't want to. It's got everything you need. So over on the northern side of the property, there's two more Hilton Grand Vacations Towers, the Lagoon Tower and the Grand Waikikian. Those are also timeshares. I think you can rent like full apartments with kitchens and stuff if you have an extended stay or some of the timeshare credits. Let's go down and check out the Paradise Pool right by the Lagoon Tower. That's where they have the water slides, in case you're wondering. On the side of this pool is the Lagoon Grill. It's a real simple kind of poolside grab and go. You can get a couple drinks, some light sandwiches.
And if you haven't had your fill swimming in the four swimming pools, plus the amazing Pacific Ocean right off the resort, there's this giant saltwater lagoon that you can swim in, snorkel in, rent paddle boards, rent aqua bikes, float on in a plastic floaty, whatever you wanna do. It's really nice for little kids because there are no waves, it's not connected to the ocean, pretty shallow, so it's really good for those little ones. Right next to the lagoon is the Grand Lawn. This is where they do the luau's and I think they do some of the movie nights when they have those going on. Right next to the lagoon is the Rainbow Tower. This is actually the tower that we're staying in. In addition to all the hotel rooms, there's a few different shops like a Volcom store. They also have a small Dairy Queen in this tower. And then this is where you'll also find the Bali Oceanfront Restaurant, which serves breakfast and dinner. And right on the outside of this tower is the main pool. As you can see, I've changed my clothes. We went upstairs because this resort is so big that even just touring half of it, I got so tired I had to take a nap, guys. <laughs> but now I'm refreshed and we're gonna show you the southern part of the resort and the main pool, which is called the Super Pool. And it's the biggest pool on the resort. It kind of bisects the property. It's right here in the middle, nice beachfront views. It has a bar and grill, lots of beach chairs. It's always very busy. I feel like the other pools aren't as well known, so you might have a better chance getting a beach chair there. So let's show you a little bit more of the super pool. Just on the outside of the super pool is the resort beachfront, the really beautiful stretch of sand with some really awesome palm trees. On this beach as well, they also have a dock where they do some of their excursions. Let's kick off the second half of a tour by talking about more places to eat. So there's the Tropics Bar and Grill, which they're doing live music there now, which is really nice because it's sort of a beachfront. Expect resort prices there. And then there's also this Wiki Wiki Market, which is a little bit kind of like a takeout deli kind of place. Grab and go, not as cheap as you'd like, but still cheaper than some of the other eateries. So you can get a nice sandwich there. And they're both right by the pool, so you can take it and eat it on your lounger if you want. Another one of the room towers is the Ali'i. I'm not sure if this is regular hotel or timeshare hotel, but it's one of the many towers here that you can stay in. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I almost forgot my bathing suits on this trip. I always leave packing until the last minute, but if I had forgotten them, that wouldn't be a problem because there's like 18 different places where you can buy bathing suits on this property. So might have been a little bit of money, but I wouldn't have been without options. And luckily, because this is such a big property, it's actually 22 acres, they have these maps everywhere. So if you get lost, you can find out where you are. Just past the Alihi Tower is this area that's called the Alihi Plaza. Most important place here, the second Starbucks. Just past the Alihi Plaza is Aloha Bowls and Tea. This place you can get poke bowls, acai bowls, boba teas, things like that. And it is right next to the Tapas Pool and the Tapas Tower and the Tapas Grill where we had lunch yesterday. There's also a tower called Diamond Head Tower. I'd have to check, but I think there's like literally thousands of rooms in this hotel. Yeah, there's like seven towers. It's like, I think it's the biggest resort on Waikiki. I just keep finding stuff at this resort. I guess this is a 4D FX cinema experience and a little arcade over here. It looks all closed up. So we said a little bit about this in yesterday's video when we did our room tour, but all the rooms have PlayStations in them and you get a little DVD now card where you can come and rent actual DVDs to take to your room. It's kind of like a red box type situation. They have four right here. They have these like vending machine kiosk things all over the resort, um, but it's kind of cool. They have like newer movies so you can just get a movie and watch whatever you want and it's included with your room rates. One fun fact about the Hilton Hawaiian Village is the classic Elvis movie, Blue Hawaii, was actually shot here. And the drink, the Blue Hawaiian, was invented here. So thanks to them for that. <laughs> There's a couple more souvenir shops and another ABC store on your way back towards the road. This resort is just absolutely huge. I'm sure we missed a few things, 
there's like way too much to see. Even with us being here two days, like we're still discovering new things. So hopefully we did a good job of showing the Hilton Hawaiian Village Resort. It is a very popular resort here in Waikiki, and we imagine a lot of you guys will benefit from this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And we're just gonna relax, I think, for the rest of the day. Something we don't normally do on our trip, so <laughs> we're taking advantage of uh, this beautiful location to do that. So I think we're just gonna end this video here. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Today we are going to go snorkeling in one of Oahu's best snorkeling spots. Today we're going to be giving you a full tour of our resort, the Hilton Waikiki Village. Hilton Hawaiian Village. Today we're going to be giving you... Still filming me? Because the parking fee for night is... Because the parking fee... Bleh. Just past the allot... Alahi? Ali'i. Ali'i, okay.